Welcome. Thanks for joining us on Spectrum 360. I'm Lisa Corey. And I'm Aaron Mansfield. Last week, the Student Association announced the band Perry, Gloriana, and Citizen Cope will headline this year's Spring Fest. The Spectrum's Joe Conzi talked to the Student Association about its decision, and he also talked to students about what they think of the lineup. Joe's outside the Student Union with more. The Spectrum surveyed 100 students about what they think of the country bands. When asked if students were satisfied with the performers, 60% said no, 25% said yes, and 15% said they didn't care about the lineup. When we asked students what genre they preferred, 27% said pop, 26% said rock, 25% said rap or hip hop, 19% said country, 2% said house EDM, and 1% said metal. This year's Spring Fest will take place on Friday, May 2nd, in the Alumni Arena parking lot A, or in Alumni Arena, depending on the weather. Doors open at 5 p.m. and the show starts at 6. For Spectrum 360, I'm Joe Conzi Jr. Students don't need to wait until May 2nd, however, to find remarkable artists on campus. One graduate student at UB is challenging mainstream forms of expression, and our Megan Wheel discovered what life experiences have influenced him. Over the past two weeks, Thomas Nguyen, a student studying for a Master's in Fine Arts here at UB, has been showcasing his exhibition, In Plush We Trust. The exhibit began on March 25th and encouraged audience members to get actively involved to lose their inhibitions. Everyone was invited to play, relax and dance with the art. For Nguyen, the art was an expression of his experience growing up as a first generation Asian American and how he fitted into society. Plush is kind of, it's trying to, I mean I'm trying to make it everything, like it's uh, I mean, look at it, it's like, it's a bit anime, it's a bit, I guess, Asian art, because I'm Asian, I guess that works out that way. Um, it's this kind of multicultural, interactive piece, like you, you wear it, you become it. Um, it's this kind of strange camouflage, really, because like, I'm wearing it right now, and it kind of hides my face. The more I put on, the more it hides me. So in a way, it's kind of a disguise, but the most inefficient disguise, because nothing else looks like this. It throws people off. Like it's, I, I don't know if it's scary now. It looks kind of family friendly. You know? uh, but it's kind of like everything. Like it's... Throughout the past two weeks, numerous events took place, from a parade around campus to a hip-hop dance party. The exhibit concluded on Friday, April 4th, with a wrestling match entitled WW Plush. Nguyen and his colleague Jeffrey Shervin battled with the art and twerked on the wall until the plush fell apart. In July, Nguyen will travel to Iceland to take part in the Uyghur Public Arts Festival as part of the NES Artist Residency Programme, which encourages artists to express their creativity and diversity. Back to you, Aaron and Lisa. A lot of students were outside at UB last week enjoying the start of the spring weather. Yeah, and as the weather gets warmer, that means football preseason is on its way. Spring practice started last week for the Bulls football team. Number one quarterback Joe Licata is hurt at the moment, so the backups have had a chance to practice with the first team. Our Ben Tarhan and Owen O'Brien were at UB Stadium for the start of spring practice. This is Ben Tarhan with Owen O'Brien reporting from UB Bulls spring football practice at UB Stadium. The Bulls have to make a lot of changes this season after graduating one of the biggest senior classes in school history. Owen, what are some of the biggest positional battles this spring? First thing which jumps out is that the halfback Oliver being gone, wide receiver Nuch gone. It's a wide open competition in pretty much every position um, except for quarterback which is a plus because this is prob probably the first time under head coach Quinn that um, that he has his quarterback coming back from last season. So that's one positive for the Bulls coming up this year. Yeah, I mean it's, it's the second week of spring. We're still all learning. Um, having Joe out there helping us because he's been the starter so he's helping us tell us what he sees what, what's going on in his mind what he would do in certain situations it's a big help for us as uh, as quarterbacks just seeing his perspective and then knowing what we know from the offense um, getting getting out there seeing the defense just making our reads and just kind of running with it um, our coaches just were telling us hey if you make a check just go with it we're not gonna get mad just do what you know and go for it so um, that's really the biggest thing right now is just being get more comfortable with the, the checks and stuff like that when defense lines up as Owen just mentioned, junior quarterback Joe Lacal will, will be returning as the starter for the second straight season. Last season was the first year under head coach Jeff Quinn where the Bulls knew who their quarterback was coming into the season, and that ended up with an 8-4 and four season and the Bulls' first bowl, or second bowl game in school history. Reporting from UB Stadium, this is Ben Tarhan with Owen O'Brien. That's all for today. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook for breaking news and up-to-date happenings at UB. 
Thank you so much for joining us today on Spectrum 360, and we'll see you right back here next week.